Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name is Michelle and I'm going to walk you through the Authorize.net Mobile Point of Sale app, or MPOS. MPOS gives you a quick and easy way to accept payments using an Apple or Android mobile device and is included for no additional cost with your Authorize.net account. With the app, you can manually key in payments or use a card reader, including an EMV chip reader, accept tips from customers, include a description and price for each item, send custom receipts by email, set multiple tax rates, and more. The app can be downloaded from the Apple Store or Google Play. So let's give you a quick overview of MPAWS now. After downloading the app, log into it using your regular merchant interface username and password. You'll be taken straight to the transaction screen. To start an order, enter the name of the item or service. Then enter the cost. Click Add to add the item to the cart. You can enter multiple items per order. Once you're ready to charge a card for the order, click the shopping cart icon. To manually key in a payment, click Key in Payment Info. Enter the card number, expiration date, and zip code, then tap the Charge button. The next screen will show the results of the transaction, including the transaction ID. You can also enter an email address to send your customer an email receipt. And that's it. The MPOS app can also be used with EMV chip card readers. We highly suggest walking through the tutorial within the app for more info on what the MPOS app can do. To access the tutorial, click the menu icon and tap Tutorial. You can also view and manage any mobile devices using the MPOS app from your merchant interface. Click Settings under Account in the main left side menu. Then select Mobile Device Management. Here you can see any device that is currently using the MPOS app and disable or delete any of them at any time. When you first download the app onto a new device, it will automatically be listed on this page and will display auto approval for the description. You can easily change that description to one of your choosing by clicking the device ID. Click Save to finish. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.